This is London. Hello and welcome back to Retrovision and thanks so much for watching. We're carrying on with the series Great British Planes, series of short films I made for Discovery Wings about 20 years ago. And this episode features Sir Richard Branson advocating the Spitfire. Now, it was such a, an honour to meet Sir Richard. He's one of my heroes. And we filmed this just after he'd climbed out of a Spitfire, which had done some pretty aerobatic manoeuvres. And I think he was feeling a little, a little bit worse for wear. But you wouldn't know that from this performance on camera. Anyway, he puts a very convincing case for the Spitfire being the best British aircraft. But what do you think? And by the way, this is where I reveal the results of the vote. Now, it might surprise you to know what this list came out at. Number one, the Spitfire. Number two, the Vulcan. Number three, Concorde. That really surprised me. Number four, the Harrier. And number five, the Comet. So what do you think of those results from 20 years ago? Would they still be the same today? And what other great British aircraft would you have on the list? The Mosquito, perhaps? The VC-10? What do you think? Put your comments below. And thanks again for watching. And please subscribe. The Spitfire is arguably the most important aircraft ever made. It came to symbolize British resistance in the darkest days of the Second World War. To the British people, the Spitfire was a symbol of defiance and it was a symbol of hope. And it was the envy of the Germans. During the Battle of Britain, when Goering was asked by Hitler what he needed to defeat the British, Goering apparently replied, a squadron of Spitfires. As a child, I used to know Douglas Bader, and he told me just how much he loved the Spitfire. The Messerschmitt ME-109 very closely matched the Spitfire in performance. However, the Spitfire had considerably better visibility, which was a huge advantage in dogfighting combat. It had an exceptional rate of turn, and it had very solid construction, which allowed it to sustain heavy battle damage and yet still fly. It was the only plane to remain a frontline fighter for the duration of the Second World War. During those six years, the Spitfire's performance was massively improved. The engine power was doubled, the maximum speed increased by 100 miles an hour, and the rate of climb by over 80%. The Spitfire represented an enormous leap in technology with its stressed metal skin, its split flaps, and its famous elliptical wing shape enabled the wing to be strong with outstanding aerodynamic properties. It was and has remained an example of British craftsmanship at its very, very best. And with the evocative tone of its Rolls-Royce Merlin engine and its sleek lines, it became an icon of design. To me, it was form and function perfectly combined. And that's why I think you should vote for the Spitfire as Britain's greatest plane.